What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now if it feels like we've been getting a new Marvel trailer or trailer announcement every week for the better part of the last month, that's because we have and as it turns out, the next two weeks should be no exception with the Black Widow second trailer airing as promised on Monday the 13th and now it turns out later that week or the following, as reported by multiple sources, Sony will be dropping the first Morbius trailer, what will be our first look at their attempt to try to build out the Venomverse. We're going to break down exactly when you can expect to see this film, who's reporting it, and what it means for Sony, whether we're actually going to see Tom Holland in that film, and whether these films will cross over with the MCU, but first, if you could, grab the subscribe button. We're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a limited edition Infinity Saga box set. All you have to do to be entered to win, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So the first news about the Morbius trailer dropping actually came via Twitter late on Monday night, but of course was swept under all of the Christian Bale, Beta Ray Bill news, and if you missed that story somehow, I'll go ahead and link my video at the end of this one. Either way, the report was that we would see the trailer sometime next week, and then in a completely separate report this morning, coming from MCU India, that the first Morbius trailer has arrived at Sony Pictures for what they call the localization process and should debut sometime in the next week or two. It's also a good time to point out that they were very accurate with the spoilers regarding the recent Black Widow trailer that was released, and much in the same regard, they may be privy to the information regarding this one. Now, this makes sense from the standpoint that the movie is actually set to be released July 2020. That's right around the corner and if they're still on schedule for that release date then of course we were going to get a trailer sometime soon but what are we going to see in this trailer is a good question. Now if you've been following channels like mine for the better part of the last three or four months then you'll be well aware of the leak that came from Charlemagne the God on a random Comic Kings podcast when he was told by Tyrese Gibson who's cast in the Morbius movie as an FBI agent to track Morbius that their movies would take place in the MCU that his contract extension beyond this film was for three films all taking place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and even though at first that sounds kind of crazy we all knew there had to be some sort of stipulations in the newest Sony Marvel sharing agreement for Spider-Man and even going back the better part of 12 months we've reported multiple times here at the channel that Sony's ultimate goal was to get their Spider-Man's rogues gallery of villains to cross back over with Spider-Man in the MCU. Now the first rumored character said to connect all of this is of course John Jonah Jameson who's heavily rumored to have a cameo in the film and it'll be interesting to see whether Sony chooses to put him in the trailer or not to immediately announce that these universes are at least adjacent and as far as speculation on my part I believe that Marvel Studios and Sony will leave them adjacent. What this means for the Marvel Cinematic Universe is anything that takes place in any of these films Venom, Morbius, that is all non-canon to the Marvel Cinematic Universe but they are allowed to reference any of the events or characters or the Avengers legally and narratively so when you finally have Tom Holland's Peter Parker show up in that Venomverse he can operate in something that's not completely foreign to him and of course legally is the key word there that's Marvel allowing Sony to reference all of their characters to make their universe adjacent much in the way the Netflix Daredevil show was it was set in the MCU from their standpoint but the movies never referenced anything that happened with those characters never had those characters characters cross over. The only other point of contention is of course we now have a new blade in the MCU and you've got Morbius as well. It would make sense to cross them over and on that Comic Kings podcast that's exactly what they pondered but really I think the goal is to not get ahead of ourselves. There may be some wait and see on Disney and Marvel's part and they get to do that. Sit back, let's see what Sony does, the quality of their films, how fans react, and whether they want to cross them over or not. In being non-committal Disney really has the upper hand and and of course, we're going to see Peter Parker's Spider-Man show up in Venom. That's almost a done deal at this point, but I doubt we will ever see Venom in an MCU movie, even coming from those crazy rumors about Secret Wars and being able to let Sony's Venomverse play the planet of the symbiotes. Again, that is just so far ahead of ourselves. Let's wait and see what Sony does with this film, how good or bad it is given their track record, and we'll go from there. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments about all of this. A, did you even remember Morbius was coming out this year? To be honest, I had kind of lost track of it 
on my radar. Is there any little bit of hype in you for this film? Do you have any expectations from Jared Leto considering how poorly he did with the Joker? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments about this. This is really an awkward one. I know a lot of us are hyped for Venom too. I'm not sure what to expect from Morbius. Let me know in the comments. Of course, we will be covering the trailer as soon as it drops at the end of next week or the following. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 550,000 subscriber mark. As of the time of posting this video, we should be able to hit that in the next 24 to 48 hours. If you want to get in on that giveaway, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and that'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes we're giving away here at the channel, including the limited edition Infinity Saga box set. We just gave one away on New Year's Eve Eve. If you want to be entered to win the next one, we'll give away in a couple of months either of the PlayStations or any of the other prizes we'll be giving away throughout the year. And as I said, we'll be doubling down and giving away twice as many prizes this year. All you have to do, all the same rules apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. Leave a like and a comment on this video. And because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners are announced in video. And if you've missed any of the past winners, either for the Infinity Saga box set or the two winners for the PlayStation 4 Pros at 500K, all you have to do is scroll back through the videos on my channel. I always put the winners in the title so that you can see that. Click that video, scroll to the end, you'll hear who they are. My name's Michael Roman. This is Everything Always. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon. Thank <laughs> you.